Hello everyone, and welcome to my first video showing you how to take the extruder out of the carriage. Now I've seen tutorials out there uh, to, of how to do this, but what I wanted to do differently is maybe set up a few different cameras. Hopefully they don't, they don't turn off on me. So basically, first thing you want to start off doing by is unloading the extruder. So just take out your filament that you have in there, and after you've done that, we're going to move on to removing the zip ties. So you just want to be gentle, don't get any of the cables. Make sure to remove the zip ties. Then once you've removed them, kind of just move the cable to the side. You will need to unplug this plug next. So just be as gentle as you can. Just try and... Don't wiggle it too much. Just try and pull it out, there you go. Right, after you've done that, <coughs> we can now move on to this, pressing this clip. So what you want to do is you want to press this plastic clip upwards and you'll see the extruder just comes out pretty easily. Now from here, you want to be nice and gentle. Don't force anything out and it should just come out. So now what you can do is you can now clean this the head of the extruder you can use either acetone or you, if you're confident enough you can plug this clip back in like so heat up the extruder get rid of all that get it all clean so now that we have it out what you want to do is you want to inspect a few different areas you want to inspect the extruder make sure it's all good you want to inspect this that it's not clogged this um screw you also want to inspect this piece and once you've noticed that you've cleaned everything out and it's all good you can move on um, the next step is to ex inspect this gear over here now you don't want it to be you don't want it to have plastic shavings on it you want it to be nice and clean and you can just turn it with your hand slowly just to double check that everything is good right so after you've done inspecting everything you can just put it all back together so it goes back the same way it came out so push up this clip bring this extruder down nice and gently you gotta find kinda of the right angle that angle pretty much and then just drop it in now you wanna push it into place that's pretty much the spot and now you, you'll be able to feel it when it goes in just like that and now it's all good once that's in you plug this back in here there we go then you just move these cables back to the top the way they were you basically put this zip ties through this metal square these metal square bits right here so you just go just like that sorry my hands are probably in the way I'll try to keep them out of the way This is horrible. There we go. They don't have to be super tight. Just tight enough to hold that in. Then you just want to cut the zip ties. Move them down just to have them out of the way. And then you're done. And that's pretty much it. Just keep your extruders clean. Keep the gears clean. And you'll be, you'll be fine. Alright, thank you. If you have any questions... If you have any troubles, let me know. I'm happy to email people and help you guys out with any problems. Thank you for watching.